Shorty fast, slim thick, she might drug, she might fix And I'm all up in her mix, she be mixing with the ribs She the plug, she finesse, she the one they call the girl she before I start, I just want to say I am going to keep on looking to the mirror, which is on my right hand side. So I hope you guys don't mind that. And yeah, I actually really enjoy doing voiceovers, but um, I just feel like it's very impersonal. So hopefully this works. I feel like multitasking can be a little bit of a task sometimes. So I hope I manage. Anyway, um, let me start off by explaining the situation here. So I decided to do a voiceover. I know, I didn't want to, but as you will see, your girl was out here rambling on and on. And on and on. So voiceover it is. I started off on freshly washed and conditioned hair. I use Tresemme to wash and condition my hair. I will insert pictures somewhere on the screen. And yeah, before I parted my hair into the five pondos that you see before you, out here looking like a fine ass new dog, you know? <laughs> I do use um, Travel Stone multi purpose spray and a little bit of coconut oil just to, you know, seal in the moisture. I do do this while my hair is still a little bit wet then i like to plait my hair into the style that you see before you i like doing this because i don't use any heat on my hair so i use this as a stretching method and i find that it's the least manipulative so it's actually helped a lot with length retention and causes way less breakage than using heat so my hair shrunk again because i didn't give myself enough time to dry this hair Anyway, right now I just took a comb, I mean a brush rather, and just brush my hair into position and then I'm going to take my ribbon. I use a ribbon instead of a stocking which I used to use for the longest time but I found that it tugs at my hair and just causes some breakage sometimes and I found that this satin material ribbon works much better for me and when your hair stretched out you guys it will literally glide okay it will do your bidding and you just tie it to the position that you want your high pack to be at and that's about it so right now i'm just going to take a section of hair and plait it into a simple two strand braid i later decided to start off the braid as a three strand braid and then turn it into a two strand braid because i find that my hair stretches out more when I plait it in a three strand braid. I previously forgot to mention but after I tie my hair into a high puff I put on some Aunt Jackie on my hair. This is to help with the definition um, of the twist out and right now I'm just showing you how I like to finish off my twist outs. I like to finish them off in a little mini bantu knot at the bottom so you basically just twist the hair around itself and I really love doing this and I recommend everyone do this with their twist outs because it just gives the twist out a very nice finish and all you're gonna do is repeat the exact same process all over your head okay hold up pause wait a minute like what's going on with this hairline guys what's what's going on like I'm, I'm genuinely hurt because how's my hairline betraying me like this firstly i've already got a big full hair like she don't need you receding like i don't need you going back like where are you going <laughs> where are you going you know i'm so hurt you guys but i think it's just stress and i've been wearing my hair out way more often than i have before and i just haven't been taking care of my hair the way i should so i'll own up to that um but I was thinking I wanted to try some rice water thing that I stumbled upon on YouTube somewhere. And I don't know if you guys would like to see a review on that. Be it just a post on Instagram story on my Instagram story or an actual video dedicated to that to see if it really works or not. Because I know I'm not the only one struggling. You guys let me know in the comment section if you guys or in my DMs if you guys would like to see that.
like I'm just struggling with space you guys so I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible but basically what you do with the bantu knot is take a little bit of the Aunt Jackie Kurlala okay then you're just gonna twist the hair around itself I'll try to get as close as possible so you guys can see And yeah, you're gonna just do that with all the braids and I promise you this is like the best thing to add to twist downs. So this is the next day. I had kept the twist in overnight. I prefer you do the same, but if you're out of time, just try and keep them in as long as possible, not less than five hours and make sure that the product is completely dry when you decide to unravel the twist. I use a little bit of coconut oil on my hands before I start to unravel, just to ensure that I do not um, cause any unnecessary breakage. And I am extremely gentle, just so I don't ruin the curls. So once you're done unraveling the twist, you are just going to start separating the hair very, very gently, okay? You don't want to be rough when you're doing this because it's going to ruin the curls that you worked so hard, so hard to achieve and you don't want to do that, okay? Just be very gentle and see where the hair naturally separates and kind of work from there. Oh my gosh, you guys, so I forgot to take out the little hair by my sideburn, which I love. I absolutely love doing this because I don't know, it just gives the, the look an extra little som som, you know, I'm shay. Um, so if you want to do this, just take out the little hair before you tie your hair into a high puff um, and just twist it out the same way you would twist the hair by the high puff and just unravel it the exact same way that you would unravel the hair the next day and it will give you that little extra som you know but if you don't like that then just you can totally opt out of it and if you like me you forgot to do it at the right time you can kind of fake the same look it just won't be as bold so you'll just take a little bit of hair and um curl your twist your finger around your hair with a little bit of eco styling child and wham bam <laughs> 